Valentine's Day is just around the corner. Hooray! And if you are looking for a cute gift or decoration, then you are in the right spot. Today we're going to be making some fake chocolates which are just perfect as paperweights or magnets or a gift that will honestly last forever. It may sound strange, but honestly chocolate melts and these will last a lifetime. So if you are keen to see that, then stick around. For more videos on how to make fake food or props or decorations, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I upload every weekend. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am That Props Girl. Today we are jumping straight in and we are making some quick and easy basic chocolates that you can make to give on Valentine's Day and they can also be used as decorations. Be sure to stick around to the end though to see the finished product because it looks extraordinary. And so for this you are going to need air drying clay. I like to use the Crayola one but you can use whatever brand you like. I've got my baking paper set up with a knife. I'm also going to be using some fondant tools as well. These are just going to be used to press down and make impressions into the clay. So we're just going to take as much air drying clay as we need, give it a little bit of a knead and then we're just going to pop that down on our baking paper and basically cut out whatever shape that you want it to be. Now I want them to be little tiny cubes and so I'm going to use my knife and just sort of cut out that kind of shape. Now obviously this does not look like a cube yet, it looks more like a trapezium but we can very easily here chop down that side. Now it doesn't matter if it's not perfect yet because we can shape them properly later. Once you've got your basic cubes there, you can then go in and shape them around the side, just pressing them with your fingers there to give them a rounded sort of shape. And if you want to use a rolling pin or the flat edge of the knife to press them in, that's up to you. You can do that as well if you like. Don't be afraid as well if you want to make some more rounded ones, you can just make a little arch there because often chocolates in a box do come in different shapes and sizes. You can also make some little round ones as well that have got a little dome shape. I'm gonna do one like that now. So I'm going to press the bottom into the table, but I'm going to round over the top. So it's like a little drop there. So once you've made however many chocolates you need, I'm going to take my fondant tools and I'm going to start making some little impressions on them. You don't necessarily have to use fondant tools. You could again get a knife or something to make an indentation in them, but I'm going to do some with just a little bit of detailing. gone in and done all of them with decorations and indentation there but I've just done a couple and we'll see how they look in the end but this one in particular was really great but I've gone in and I went in with don't know if you can see it there but it's pointed at the top and it was really great just to sort of press in and give that indentation because some chocolates are like that and I did not have a mold. You can buy molds on Etsy uh, and most of the molds are silicone and I would not suggest using air drying clay in silicone but you can definitely do this without a mold. So now that those are done I'm going to sit them outside to dry. While those are drying this is the perfect interlude for me to jump in and say if you are enjoying this video give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below what your favorite type of chocolate is. I personally like any kind that's got mint in the center. Also while you're there, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I upload. So now that these are three quarters dry, I am going to mix up my paint and paint them. Now, because they're not 100% dry, I'm gonna take a toothpick and just pierce the bottom, literally just so I can hold onto them to paint them. And then I'm going to actually use this dry floral foam, which I haven't unwrapped yet, but I'm just going to pop them into the foam to dry so they will stand up like that. It's a little hack that you can use. So for my paint today, I'm going to be making three different shades of brown. So we're gonna have like a dark chocolate and a milk chocolate. Maybe I should do a white chocolate. Mm, I should probably do a white chocolate as well. And then so maybe we'll do four and we'll have a caramel one as well. I 
just pop the tiniest bit of gold into the white paint just so it looks a bit more like white chocolate. Now I'm going to go in and mix in some Mod Podge, which I probably should have done a bit earlier, but oh well. Now if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I didn't always used to mix Mod Podge in with my paint. That's actually been something I recently started doing because it's way faster. It saves you having to do this later on in the process. So now that we've got our paint mixed up, I'm just going to go in with this dark chocolate one and start brushing that onto the clay there. them in our floral foam, I'm going to set them aside to dry. So I'm going to take some bicarb soda and just pop it into the paint that we still have from before and then I'm going to drizzle it over the top of the chocolate. Now if you've watched my channel before you will know that I use bicarb soda to make it just a little bit thicker and it just adds a bit of texture as well. So happy with the way that these turned out and so I'm just gonna take a little bit of hot glue now and glue them into some patty pans and you don't have to use pink ones I just happen to have these laying around at home but I'm literally just gonna put a dab of hot glue in the bottom of the patty pan and I'm gonna take my chocolate and just press that down I'm having such flashbacks to my um, fake petty fours video if you haven't seen that video yet be sure to check it out after this one and if you do find like I did that you perhaps made your chocolates a little bit too small for the patty pan then just literally fold out the sides to fan them out a bit and it makes it look so much better Aren't they just so sweet? Obviously not as sweet as real chocolates, but hey, as I said before, real chocolates melt and these will last forever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button and bell so that you can be notified of all my future uploads and be sure to answer the question of today's video, which is what is your favorite type of chocolate? I look forward to seeing you guys next weekend. Bye for now.